The BTR-90 armored personnel carrier was conceptualized during the early 1990s, and the initial prototype was finalized in 1994. This vehicle represents a progressive advancement of the BTR-80 APC, boasting enhanced armament, superior mobility, upgraded protection, and increased internal capacity. The process of developing the BTR-90 has been protracted, challenging, and expensive. In the mid-1990s, the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs procured a limited number of pre-production APCs. However, due to limited financial resources, the BTR-90 never transitioned into mass production. At present, the Russian army is filling the gap with orders for BTR-82 APCs until the next generation Bumerang armored personnel carrier becomes accessible. Although the BTR-90 was presented for potential export, no orders have been confirmed thus far. The hull of the BTR-90 armored personnel carrier boasts greater thickness compared to its predecessors. The frontal windshields have been replaced with periscopes, contributing to enhanced protection of the front section. This design feature is said to provide protection against 14.5mm ammunition in the front arc. The option to affix supplementary armored panels or explosive reactive armor modules exists. A specialized Typhon explosive reactive armor system was devised for this APC, which also exhibits heightened resistance against mine explosions. Additionally, the vehicle can be equipped with active protection systems. The BTR-90 includes standard features such as NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Consequently, the overall protection level of the BTR-90 surpasses that of previous Soviet-wheeled APCs. The BTR-90 maintains the typical internal layout characteristic of the BTR family. The engine compartment is situated at the rear of the hull, with the driver positioned at the front. Turret controls and the troop compartment are situated in the middle section. This version has larger external dimensions and internal volume, allowing it to transport loads up to 7,000 kg in lieu of troops. Armed with a 30mm cannon and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, the BTR-90 APC features a turret similar to that found on the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle. Additionally, it is armed with a 30mm automatic grenade launcher and a single Conkers, at 5 spandrel, anti-tank guided missile launcher. The Conkers missile has an effective range of 4,000 meters. Notably, the missile launcher is detachable and can also be ground launched. An upgraded version of the BTR-90, fitted with four Cornet E, at 14 Sprigdon, missile launchers, has been observed. Both the commander and gunner have the ability to operate all of the vehicle's weapons. The primary 30mm gun can be elevated from minus 5 degrees to plus 75 degrees, enabling engagement of low-flying helicopters. Capable of accommodating seven fully equipped troops, this armored personnel carrier facilitates entry and exit through side entry doors and roof hatches. The vehicle is equipped with firing ports integrated into the hull. The BTR-90's propulsion is derived from a turbocharged diesel engine generating 520 horsepower, with plans originally outlined for a 630 horsepower engine. The engine is positioned at the rear of the hull, in line with the approach adopted for previous Soviet-wheeled APCs. This arrangement aims to improve weight distribution and amphibious capabilities. Despite some disadvantages, such as cumbersome entry, the Soviet military prioritized the vehicle's amphibious qualities. Given the absence of a sufficiently compact engine capable of producing around 500 horsepower for the front placement, this layout was chosen. The BTR-90 is outfitted with an automatic gearbox and employs an 8x8 configuration with steerable front pairs of wheels. A central tire inflation system enhances mobility across challenging terrains. Impressively, the BTR-90 maintains mobility even if four wheels are incapacitated. The BTR-90 is fully amphibious, facilitated by the erection of a trim vane and activation of bilge pumps prior to entering water. While on water, it is propelled by two water jets situated at the rear. 
The baseline model offers a versatile platform from which a diverse array of variants can be developed. Variant, the BTR-90M, unveiled in 2001, is a prototype equipped with a modified BMP-3 turret featuring a 100mm gun and a coaxial 30mm cannon.